anybody who's familiar with Indiana uh, will probably know where I'm at as well as the story behind it. This appears to be the parking lot. And there is nobody here. Beautiful. Today I'm at the Monon High Bridge Trail in Delphi, Indiana. So, as I was alluding to a little bit earlier, um, this site is a place where about six years ago uh, some very tragic events occurred. Two young girls in their early teens, I won't mention their names for now, were tragically murdered while out hiking on these trails that I'm about to go on. It was a day not unlike today. It was, I believe, late February of 2017. Today is obviously December, so it's not quite the same month, but it's pretty warm out here. About 50 degrees. It was about that temperature on that day. Um, but for whatever reason, those girls had a day off of school. They decided to come out here uh, for a hike. And unfortunately, that was the last time that anybody ever saw them alive. Now, for anybody who has been um, is familiar with the story, who's been monitoring it or anything, authorities have brought the killer to justice. And uh, that person will likely spend, hopefully spend, uh, the rest of their days behind bars. But yeah, just got to make sure I'm going the right way here towards the actual abandoned bridge. I will pick back up in a second. So I was correct. Across this bridge is the right way to go towards the abandoned Mon and High train bridge. Which is the main reason why I'm out here today. <clears throat> Apologize if I sound a little stuffy. I'm getting over another cold. So if I sound a little off, that's obviously why. This is pretty cool though. I wonder if this whole trail used to be the uh, rail bed or this used to be a railroad bridge here. Like repainted and repurposed. It's pretty cool. See overlooking the highway on both sides down there. If you ever come out to this trail, I believe that it is About a 1.6, 1.8 mile walk from uh, the parking lot to the bridge and then back again. So about a 1.8 mile round trip. Ooh, I see a, I see an old train car sitting up there. The traffic is quite loud. As you can see, it's fairly windy today. Now, supposedly, um, there was an organization local to the area of Delphi, Indiana, that was going to purchase this bridge, which was abandoned by CSX in uh, 1987, I believe, and try to restore it and make it um, like more part of the walking trails, make it like actually easy to walk across. I don't know if that's happened yet. I guess we'll find out here and maybe 15 or 20 minutes. It'll be just a few minutes for you. So you don't have to walk this. It's a pretty cool view from up here though. Looks like somebody's homestead over there. Wonder how it feels to live there knowing how um, kind of tragic events took place here a few years ago. So you can see a little bit of evidence that a railroad used to be here. Old chunks of railroad ties and such um, are kind of scattering both sides of this path. And I'm betting that uh, 
This stone is the old rail bed. It's kind of weird that there's a hiking trail so close to people's private property. It makes me a little bit uneasy, but yeah, it's all right. As always, I don't anticipate any problems, but I am prepared if you catch my drift in the event that something does arise. So far though, this is just a pretty peaceful and quiet walk other than the uh, sound of the highway. There's a look down at the creek below. I'm guessing the bridge is just going to be right up here pretty shortly. It's kind of surreal to be in a place where life was taken. It definitely feels like it, like just something slightly off about the air. Or maybe it's just me personally feeling a little bit weird knowing that one day about six years ago two people were walking these paths and that was going to be the last day that they were going to be alive very very tragic and unfortunate events I'm very glad that they caught the monster that did it you can obviously out of respect for the uh, families again I'm not going to mention any names nor am I going to mention the name of the killer you can find that information for yourself if you're curious. But yeah. This is a very, very beautiful plot, spot though. Nice bench. Kind of take, take a seat and look at the creek and river here forest down below. If it was allowed here, this would absolutely be a great spot for camping. I would totally set up a campsite down there. Here comes a couple people. Turn the camera off real quick. It's a very steep drop right there. This is this bridge is further back than I thought it would be. Hopefully I'm I'm pretty sure I am going the right way. More stacks of old uh, timber here. Looks like there might have once been a uh, like a little bit of a culver pipe or something going down to the railroad right there. You can still hear the highway in the background, but the noise is definitely fading away. It's actually been repaired. Wow, it's not like some of the photos you can look up and see. That's very nice looking. Wait till we get a little closer. I saw a white tail deer over there. Yeah, it looks like a portion of the bridge has been repaired, but not all of it. Coming up on it now. Looks like we got some cameras up here. This 
probably a smart idea. This is very cool. Look at this. So I believe this bridge is 63 feet tall from its highest point of the creek bed up to um, up to here. I cannot remember how long it was. But yeah, this is very neat and a little bit eerie. A few years ago, you can find people's videos from, you know, back to when, uh, like 2018, 2019, there was no gate here, there was no guardrails, it was just all like you see ahead, that's how the bridge looked. Some people were brave enough to walk across it, others were not. There might be a little bit of a campsite down there. They did a really nice job with this. There's looking down. It's weird to think this structure is like 140 years old. It'd be cool to get the rest of the way across that. I'm not sure if I'm brave enough to jump this fence or to be honest feeling well enough and then trying to scale all that those timbers look pretty rotten even down there you can see a lot of the timbers are starting to really rot away looks like maybe at one point there was a walkway there or something Really cool old piece of history. I'm gonna try to get down to the creek and get a view looking up at it too. There's looking down from probably the highest point in the bridge. You can see the stone here. That's a very steep cliff face and there's a concrete support right there. It feels being on this part very structurally sound there's no swaying no vibrations a few weird creaks here and there but I'm interested to get down and take a look at it from the underside we can look at the bridge from the side view I'm at the cliff we were just looking at a moment ago I have to imagine in the summer there would be like vegetation and stuff. Probably wouldn't get a very good view. But winter time, you can see. So it kind of just disappears off of the trees there. It's very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna head down now. Just found this little concrete post right here. I wonder what that used to be. It's some type of signal light or something to uh, light up whether the bridge was uh, here to go across or not. I don't know. I'm not seeing an easy way down though. I have to look a little bit. Alright, I did have to backtrack a little bit but I think I found it relatively easy way down. So it's going to be how hard is getting back up. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm so glad I'm doing this in December. This would be miserable in summertime. I'm sure.
definitely no easy path to get underneath the bridge. there is what we were just standing on. Yeah, this section looks pretty sturdy here. With the uh, concrete and the the iron with the steel or whatever that is. Beyond that, a little bit questionable. This even looks like it's so clean that it almost looks fairly new. I doubt they would pour new concrete just to make a walking trail up there, but who knows? Maybe, maybe. It's all these old chunks here. Huh. Well, I don't see any obvious way to get across without taking an extended detour, but I'll look around for a little bit. I am a bit pressed for time here. I have to. I'll be filming two videos today, actually. Camping one a little bit later on. So, cannot afford to spend too much time poking around. I know I'm not exactly like bushwhacking out in the middle of nowhere or anything, but... I don't want to get my boots wet, my feet wet trying to cross this river. And it looks like I would have to. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get over there. That looks like a. Yeah, I don't think. Damn it. Oh well. Back up this mess. So, there's the bridge itself. There's the path I took to go down. That was quite a quite a walk. I'll take one more last look over here though. Before we go. I do have to get going. If you stuck with me through all this, as always, I appreciate your viewership. I hope you found this place as cool as I did. 
and uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.